Yo, what's up? This is a Volkswagen ID4 and this is the test you guys have been waiting for. I actually didn't have an opportunity to do it until now. So yes, we're gonna do the banana box test. We will see how many banana boxes we can fit in the ID4. So remember the ID3 could take 19 boxes. Pretty impressive for a very compact car. And the ID4, as you can see, I'm a small Asian. It's a significantly bigger car. So right, let's start with the front or the front as usual. So see, unfortunately, the ID4 doesn't have a front. So Teslas and many other cars like iPace, e-tron, uh, Taycan, they have a front. But uh, actually, so Volkswagen, they had a point there because they tried to make the the front here, the the hood part or whatever, as short as possible, and then just make more space in the rear, in the tr in the trunk area. And you know that got me thinking. So I have. A Model 3 over there, I checked it. The hood is 110 centimeters, and I know that the hood in a Model X is 120 centimeters. And I also have uh, a Model S over there, I also checked that one, that's 120 centimeters. So 110, 120, 130. And then when I checked the hood on the ID3, well, I don't know where to measure, you know, it's always, always a mystery. Like, where do you, ha where do you uh, start measuring your penis? Is it from the root or is it from the balls? Well, well, I don't know. But if you measure from here roughly, it actually looks like we have about 90 centimeters on it. So I don't know how you measure it, but 90 centimeters versus 110, 120. Okay, so that means that whatever is under here, okay, it's still, there is, there's still some space between, wait, wait, is that the right place to put it? No, 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 here. It's kind of still, yeah, it could have been compacted slightly more, but on the other hand, you can only put in a small frunk, uh, maybe just 20 liters, 20, 30 liters. So maybe uh, false pocket to have a pointer. Okay, so we're gonna find out how much space they actually made in the back then. <coughs> and because this is just the base trim, uh, there is no uh, motorized lift gate. So you just have to uh, open like this manually. And there, of course, no kick center, but wow, lots of space. So the difference between this one, which is the first edition and the first max is that the first max, you can adjust this uh, shelf thing here so that when you fold the seat, it becomes fl completely flat. This one doesn't have it, but at least we're gonna take it out for the test. Ooh, is it? Take out that one and then try to, well, I don't know if you can utilize this space, but let's see if we have type two cable. Oh, what the heck is okay? We have the Shuko cable here. Let's take it out. Okay, we have this one for when you run out of juice. Uh, okay, whatever, first aid kit. Okay, some manual. And then, what can we take out? What the heck is this thing? A weapon? Okay, let's put it, well, we just put it back there. Yeah. Wait, can we take out this one? <coughs> oh yeah we can okay 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 round one is to check how many we can get in the trunk only uh, so I try my best to put in yeah there's simply not enough space for one more so I packed it as much as possible let's count it one two oh, three four five six Huh? Seven? Nine! Nine! Nine boxes in the trunk! That is insanely large! That's actually, the fun fact, nine boxes, that's bigger than each one. <laughs> it's as big as a Model X six-seater. The Model X has pretty good deep space here, but this one doesn't have it. Wow, nine boxes. Okay, let's fold the seat and see. Ooh, okay, I have packed the car to the max. I have lost count of many boxes I put in there. So let me just show you now what it looks like. In the back here, we put the banana boxes all the way up there. We don't have panorama roof, but I think that doesn't make any difference. And then in the back here, also packed to the max. Yeah. Uh, 
You see the space below there for the cables, we cannot utilize it. But I was surprised how wide this car is. So you can put lots of stuff in there, like banana boxes. And then also on this side, same there, packed to the max. But this is not the max, it's the base model. <laughs> You see, we have uh, we have good space. Still possible for two adults to sit in the front here. You see, just to show you that I'm not cheating, I can actually sit here perfectly fine. You see, and you're supposed to sit a little bit upright, not too laid back. And I'm 173 centimeters. So, let's go. Okay, as usual, let's uh, turn off the pitch. Wait for it, and then start counting. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 24, 25 boxes, 25, that is insanely lots of boxes. It actually beats e-tron with two boxes. It beats the, the Model S pre uh, facelift, the Model S pre facelift, beats the uh, e-soul Mach-E, even the Model X six seater, <laughs> it's only the Model X five seater. It takes 28 boxes, three more boxes than this one. The Model X is freaking huge. Wow, the MEV platform, man. So this means that if you wait for uh, the Q3, uh, the, the Q4 e-tron and the Enyaq, they're also based on the same one. So they should also be able to take the same amount of banana boxes. This is really impressive shit. I mean, I knew it was a large, but I had no idea it was going to be that large. So there you go. If you want a large family car and you don't want to pay the price of a Model X and an e-tron, you can get ID4. Yeah. Wow. Impressive stuff, man. This is the way to do it. Design an EV from the ground up with the MEV platform and you get lots of space. And also, well, a bonus, you get good efficiency. So I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.